Hey everybody, welcome back to T-Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining me. We're doing a seafood bowl today. It's Memorial Day weekend 2016. I apologize I didn't do one last year, but it's just Karen and I this year, and this is going to be a small batch. So I've got 10 pounds of crawfish, about 3 pounds of shrimp, and about 3 pounds of snow crab legs. I'm going to show you how you boil them up. It's going to be a great show. Y'all stick around. All right, everybody. My water's just about boiling. What we're going to do, we're going to add in my favorite Louisiana crawfish right here. It's good stuff. It's four and a half pounds right here. That's, that's enough to do a couple of sacks. But what we're going to do, we're going to add uh, probably a third of it. Dump it on in. A little bit more. There we go. I think that's enough. Alright. We're also going to go in some of this uh, Zatarans. Shrimp and crab bowl. Whole bottle. This is a uh, 8 ounce bottle. Be sure and shake it up good. And if you want your uh, seafood spicy, this is how I'm doing it. Louisiana hot sauce. This is a 12 ounce bottle. All of it's going in, folks. Again, shake it up. This has vinegar in it, so that's going to help the shrimp and the, the crawfish and the, uh, the crab. It's going to help the meat separate from the shell. And we'll add some butter to it, too, here in a little bit. I never tried this, we're going to give it a shot. This is one of those bags that uh, has the, uh, what all they got in here? Where's the uh, thingamajig? It's got uh, cayenne pepper, coriander, black pepper, mustard seed, bay leaves, dill seed, and allspice. It's just a mesh bag. Like that. We'll throw that in. If it wasn't high enough, we're going to add some cayenne pepper, folks. There you go. Probably about a... This is a four ounce bottle added. Almost half. That's probably two ounces. Oh, I forgot to mention. I was not going to film this this year. But my good friend Enum, she asked me to film it. So, it's for you, Enum. Enjoy, babe. Now, what we gotta do? We gotta stir the pot, folks. Stir the pot real good. It ain't far from boiling. <coughs> all those, all those spices that come and hit me at once. It make you choke. Mm. It's good though. It's gonna make that seafood taste really, really fine. Really good stuff. All right, so we're gonna just kind of incorporate all the different seasonings here. Just make sure everything's all blended together in the water. And I'm gonna go run inside and get a stick of butter. We'll go add that too. We'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I got my butter, and I'm using this Kerrygold unsalted butter. One stick, babe. One in. Got about uh, two thirds of a container of, uh, let me see, this is 26 ounces. It's about two thirds of 26 ounces of salt. Going in. Got a little bit left. Sorry. And again. Stir the pot. Just stir it up. <coughs> That's going to be some spicy seafood. <coughs> Woo. That's a rough job out here. Cooking for all you folks. We'll be back when I get the crawfish ready. 
All right, everybody, let's purge these crawfish. I'm sure you how it's done. Oh, look at Karen sitting back over here with Fifi. <laughs> so cute. Look at the crawfish. <laughs> yeah. So, what you do is put them in a cooler. Put some water on them. Yeah. Can y'all see them? Let me let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you right here. And what they'll do, they'll sit in the water for a few minutes, and that's going to make them get any mud they have on them, get it off of them, because they flop around in the water, you know, they try to swim. And you do that several times until the water drains clean out of your uh, cooler. That's what you call purging the crawfish. Down right there. That one didn't have a good day. <laughs> uh, that's the other thing. You want to throw any dead ones you find if they're floating or not moving. You know, throw them out. You don't want to leave them in there. Oh, look at them it. Look at them it. Oh, she don't want to get near them. Yeah, I know. She's scared of them. Poor but they dang. got claws. Poor dang. They got claws. So we're going to let these uh, swim around, you know, probably, uh, you know, two, three minutes. And uh, let me back you out where you can see what the heck's going on. Because you don't on. want them to drown, right? Yeah, we don't want them to drown. It's, uh, if you have to keep them for any length of time, it's best to keep them in a cool, dry place. Um, if, if they're out in, in the air, you know, the, the sunshine or anything like that, that's bad. It'll kill them. They need to be in a dark, damp, cool place. Hose them down a little bit if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. So, uh, again, I'll bring you back here in a few minutes. All right, everybody, it's time to let the water out over here. And again, you need a cooler like this. It's got the little flip drain like that. Just let that water drain out. And I removed two. I had 10 pounds of crawfish here. I removed two out of that 10 pounds that were, they were dead. They definitely didn't have a good day. So I'm gonna just water drain and uh, we'll flush it. And it looks pretty clean right now, actually, because I've done this a couple of times before I videoed it. But just, again, run water over them let them sit there for a few minutes and do that several times until the water runs clean that's purging your crawfish folks we'll meet you back when we're ready to put them in the boil folks we've got some boil and liquid here it's time to throw some stuff in it let's see what we got going in with some garlic got three heads of garlic two whole onions Artichokes. Just cut the heads of them off. Same with the garlic. Cut it off. Cut the head off. Just like that, folks. Lemon. Squeeze the juice in there. This is four of them. Here, you mind opening up these potatoes over here? Hang on, folks. Oh, there she is. Thanks, darling. These are just some little uh, new potatoes. Throw it all in there, folks. What you want to do is just let this stuff kind of get all incorporated again. That's strong. We'll be back here in about 10 minutes after this. Uh, we gotta let the potatoes get kind of almost al dente before we throw the crawfish and shrimp and stuff in. We'll be right back. All right, everybody. It's been about 10 minutes. Now, if you've got those larger potatoes, you may want to go 15. That's looking fine right there. All right, I got my crawfish here. Ooh. See if I can dump these crawfish in there. Come on, get your, get your butt out of there. Come on. See? He don't want to go. He's saving his life. I got it. That's it. Alright, now. Now, let me go get some shrimp and crab. Alright everybody, I'll check this out. I got me some nice shrimp here. It's about three pounds of shrimp. And I got some uh, frozen corn. Throw that corn on in there. And the 
crawfish have been literally in there like 30 seconds. They ain't been in there long. Go ahead and throw your shrimp in. Crab and shrimp take about the same amount of time to cook. We got our crab here. I got uh, snow crab legs. Here's your one with the claw on it. Ha! There you go. Anyway, that's some good eating. But these are pre-cooked, folks. So we're just gonna like warm them up. And then here in a few minutes, we're gonna shut the fire off and we'll let all this seafood soak. They're gonna soak up all that good seasoning. And Karen's bringing me some, some sausage. We're gonna throw some sausage in there real quick. There you go, I got some Myers Elgin sausage from right here in Elgin, Texas, just up the road from me. That's their beef sausage. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this boil for uh, just, like I said, about two more minutes. Then I'm gonna shut the fire off and put the lid on. And we're gonna stir it around a little bit. And we're gonna let it soak. Let it soak for 15 or 20 minutes. And that's gonna absorb all of those flavors. If you really wanna do it quick, you can throw some ice on top after you shut the fire off. And that cold ice will make, make all that seafood just soak in all that, all that seasoning. That's what I usually do, but I don't have any ice right now, so. Anyway, and I don't have a bag of ice is what I'm saying. I got some ice in my fridge. We'll be right back, folks. We'll show you what it looks like when I'm putting it on the table. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh, I'll tell you what. Instead of doing that, let me show you this. We're gonna taste it here in about 20 minutes. So we're gonna check it and see if it's seasoned enough. If it's not, we're gonna let it keep soaking. So we'll be back when we do that. And I also forgot to mention, bring it up to a boil and then count three minutes before you shut the fire off. Dang. Man, it's been a couple of years and I don't forgot what the heck you do. Anyway, I just put the lid on it. As you can see down here, we got the lid on it. We're gonna bring it up to a boil. We're gonna let it go for, uh, I'm gonna let it go for two minutes because it's been in that hot water for quite a while. Two minutes, shut the fire off. We'll be back here in about 20 minutes when we check it. We're gonna taste test it. We're gonna see if it's spicy enough. So we'll see you then. And what I wanna do is try to get one of these shrimp out of here. There we go. You can see I've already tried some of these. I already tried a shrimp and a crawfish, as you can see. We're gonna try a shrimp. And uh, the shrimp have a thin skin, so they're going to get that spice a lot quicker than these cra uh, crawfish and the crab. So we're gonna peel this off, the shrimp. Give it a taste. Bring you right back after it cools off for a minute. All right, everybody. That's what we got. Got us one of these shrimp. Hmm. It's got a little heat, but it needs to go a little bit longer. Yeah, it needs to go maybe another five minutes. Put the lid back on this uh, on this boil here. Let me see you. See if I can show you what we got here. Check that out, folks. Now we're talking. Oh yeah, we got all kind of goodness here. Just stir the spices up every once in a while if you want. You don't have to do this. But again, Put the lid back on, give it about five minutes. And this is too... <coughs> <coughs> that's, um, that's some serious spices. Put the lid back on it. Let it go for another five minutes because that's how we like it. Maybe even longer. We'll, we'll see, you know. We'll check it again. Check, check for flavor and seasoning and all that here in about five minutes. But uh, once we have it just about right, I'm going to set the camera up at the end of the table and next thing you'll see is me dumping it across the table. We'll be right back. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> Come on, 
get on out of there. There you go. Now it's on. Oh! There you go, everybody. Dinner is served. This jamming food right here, y'all gotta check it out. Hope y'all give yourself a nice seafood bowl. Appreciate y'all watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Hope y'all share the video. When you do, please tell all your friends. T Roy cooks responsibly. We'll see y'all next time. Damn, that's good. Where you at, Booger? I need help, man. I got a bunch of crawfish over here left. We done picked up the, actually there weren't much uh, shrimp crab left. We got crawfish left. We'll make some A2 fake. <laughs>